Um, this is a this is a kind of chiller video than I normally make. Uh, it's not it's not very structured. Um, I've been watching a lot of writing blogs recently, and I figured I'd I'd make my own um, because something very interesting happened to me today. Uh, not that it'll be interesting to anyone else. It's only specifically interesting to me. But <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to have a video where I just sat down and I just talked about writing and kind of like tried to muddle through my process because my process is still a mystery even to me shockingly um despite having completed two first drafts and um about a third of the way through the third one but um yeah it's 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 kind of like it's kind of it's kind of like I don't, not very good at anything else but here's my here's my thoughts for today so this I've had this idea in my head right for about five or six years now and it started off as one thing and it sort of evolved and now it's now it's become this sort of like a like a concrete concept that I had because before I just had like a character and sort of like things that happened and not really like, like I knew I wanted to write about it, but I never, I never knew how to go about writing about it. Um, if you know what I mean, it's like it's, I had this, I had such a like a a vivid picture of it that I was like, if I write it down, I will ruin it, and I, I won't, I won't do it justice, and I don't know how to go about writing it down in the first place, so I can't start. Um, and I've been, I've been thinking about it quite. A lot over the last couple of days and I woke up this morning and I was like I know how to write this down it's like I know how I can implement all of the things that I or select a few of the the things from my idea and I can solidify them into a concept and um, I so I, I I went ahead this morning I spent all this morning and then I had I had a work meeting which I went to and then some of this afternoon and then we spend the rest of the evening writing out my outline so this is like step one of my of my creative process which is just basically um taking a pen and whatever current notebook I'm working in and just writing down basically uh everything that happens as it happens just free writing it from my head um the outline never ends up looking like this or the 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 actual the actual first draft never ends up looking like this but this is, this is very much a, this is very much just a, just a, a like a basis. Um, I try to separate it out into chapters, it never really works out that way, but normally when I, when I think there should be a chapter change, I'll take a break, like a wee, a wee line break. Um, and I don't have, I don't have names for any of my characters yet, I know their personalities, I know what they, you know, how they would react and you know how they work as people but I don't I don't have names yet so I'm calling them <laughs> MMC and FMC which is a bit difficult when you then have a third character who comes in and 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 you can't really assign him a title because both of the other titles have been taken but yeah at the moment it's I'm on the outline for chapter four it's fantasy it's more it's not really young adult, it's it is still adult. Um but yeah, I don't want to say too much about it at the moment because it's not obviously nothing set in stone. But I kinda wanted to just like pop in over the course of this week. It's currently Tuesday. and um, so pop in over the course of this week and just sort of keep you guys updated on how I'm doing things and then hopefully I'll post this on Sunday. Um but yeah. I think I'll I'll spend the rest of the night filling out this outline. I did this for the Jack Dawn. I did this for I didn't do it for my first my first project. I did it for the second and the third. And it's taken up several pages. Yeah, like it's normally about twenty, thirty, something like that. Um but normally I would then take it and I would write it on Scrivener immediately. But this time I'm going to I have this lovely Moleskin notebook that I picked up. Can't remember where from. 
but it's I was gonna use it as a bullet journal and then I realised it was like line pages. It's so pretty. It's Peter Pan themed. I'm just gonna handwrite as much as I can because I feel like if I handwrite it I'll be I'll continue it. I'm like more likely to continue it if that makes sense because it started off in my head and I think putting it into the computer immediately would kind of kill it because that's what's kind of happened with with the jackdaw. I'm halfway through I'm halfway through editing like writing the second draft and I've kind of just come to like a standstill so I, pr I printed out the first half and I'm going to go through it again gradually but I'm going to I'm going to write this out first and then I'm going to start actually like handwriting it and then I'll sort of alternate between three all three of my projects and hopefully since they're all at kind of like different stages like this is still just sort of formulating and and my third my third project um Kay and Stone is um is sort of midway through or like a third of the way through the first draft so there is already kind of a flow to it whereas this one's just just getting started and obviously the jackdaw is is um halfway through the second draft which I have thoughts on but um yeah we'll we'll see how it goes working title at the moment for this eventually I would hope that this would be I'm aiming for maybe like a 90,000 words to 100,000 words um it's it's like a portal fantasy but for adults because I am obsessed with portal fantasies and I don't think there's enough portal fantasies and I think we need more especially for adults um so this is like a portal fantasy not really like it's not really an epic fantasy but it is quite high fantasy it's not to lean into trends but it does it is fey based but not the not you know not the kind of uh, ooh mates and, and feral and rage and all that not not that um my yeah but my a plan is at the moment as i see it in my head the one story with a sequel although i might write it all as one and then just split it because i know where i would split it because I know I've got the beginning of this and I've got the end already planned um, and then I have like the beginning of the next one and a vague idea for the second for the second plot it's just trying to work out all the middle bits because I know where the main character should be at the end and I know where she where, the, where they start from and then I'll get back to you when I have the outline done but um, yeah working title for this is is roll like thunder working title for the second one is, is burn like stars which are, are all time low lyrics uh, that's why they're working titles in case i have to change them but hopefully not um yeah i think that's that's all i have to say at the moment we'll see how this how this um outline goes and then get back to you i guess so yeah bye for now
just finished writing out my outline, so that's all done now. Um, before I can really do anything else, I am going to take this for a walk. We're gonna go for a walk, aren't we, Kelly? We go for a walk, aren't we? Yeah. Um, in the snow, and then uh, I'm filling out some uh, health and safety certificate quiz things online for my job, and then. Yeah, and then we'll see where to go from there. This course also features our Fast Track Rapid Pass system. With Fast Track, you can test your knowledge at any time. Hey guys, so it's now 3 o'clock on Friday, um, I've just finished uh, everything I had planned for today, I took the dog for a walk, um, I finished off my coursework for the week, uh, I wrote two book reviews today, um, so now I'm going to try and get as much written, like actual text written down as I can for uh, for my, my latest project. Um, Ideally, I'd like to have it finished by maybe the end of April. Yeah, end of April would be nice. Um, uh, hopefully, I won't give up halfway through. Um, if I if I struggle right now, I might I might just put it on the computer and do that. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, it'll end up being. I'm not gonna have a proper word count because I'm counting. You know, I'm doing like writing it out by hand so I won't have like a pro I'm not gonna set count all the words. Um but hopefully by um by the end of the first draft or the first edit when I put it onto the computer, hopefully it'll be somewhere between ninety thousand and a hundred thousand words. That's what I'm going for. Which is the longest book I've written so far because the first draft of the Jack Doll was only it was only seventy three thousand words, just over seventy three thousand words. And obviously I haven't finished my first draft of Kaylee and Stone, but I was aiming for about eighty five thousand with that. So ninety thousand to a hundred thousand is quite a lot, but there's a lot of like world building that needs to be put in there because it is a fantasy. And I have a feeling it's gonna end up being a complicated fantasy, but um we'll see. Uh, I'm also gonna finish well after I've done that, I'm gonna start reading Colony by Benjamin Cross. That's what's next on my hit list. Cool. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Alright guys, I have just finished my writing for the day. Um, I hand wrote just over 10 pages. And I had to put my wrist support on because um, my wrist started hurting. This might turn out to have been a terrible decision on my part. But we're going to stick with it and see how far I can get through it. Um, yeah, I think it went quite well. I've done about half of the first chapter. Um... I named all my characters as well, which is, um, I think, a key point that I have successfully managed to do this time. Um, because this morning they didn't have any names. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where else it goes. Should be fun. Um, I'm go it's about quarter past ten at night, and I'm going to clean up my, the mess that I made earlier, and I'm going to start reading... Colony by Benjamin Cross. Um, so yeah. So it's Saturday. Um, uh, this morning I went a three and a half mile long walk, and 
now I'm very tired and then I ate a lot of food. So I'm in the mood for a nap, but we're gonna persevere with starting my course week my coursework for this week. Um my course con considers each week starts on a Saturday, which is a little strange, but you know, that's fine. So I'm gonna start my coursework work for this week and then I'm going to then I'm gonna see how much writing I can get done. So yeah, wish me luck. I had a nap. Hello friends, um, it's Sunday today which means this is going to be my last my last update for this vlog because I'm going to start piecing it together today and hopefully it will be up tonight at some point if I can if I can do things fast um, what did I do yesterday? I did my coursework I did a couple hours of coursework and then I wrote, I finished the f first chapter I only wrote another three pages but I finished the first chapter and I'm up to 13 pages I'll probably expand first chapter like later when I edit it because my plan is to write it out and then as I type it up to edit it then as well and then I'll go through it all again and maybe edit it again and or I'll just print it and then edit it like that um what else happened yeah not the most productive well I guess I wrote an entire outline and the first chapter which is quite it was I feel like that's quite productive um as well as doing other things I also made a playlist. Um, I made a playlist for my current project. I'll be making playlists for my other projects as well because I just think it's quite fun. Um, but I'll link it down below. It's on Spotify. I'll link it down below if 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 anyone wants to give it a listen. Um, it's it's there's a fair amount of all time low on it. Um, but yeah, that's about everything. I guess if this works, if this does well, I I've, I've enjoyed doing this. If it work, works well, then I suppose I'll do another one next week. See how it goes. So yeah. Let me know down below what you've managed to achieve this week. And like and subscribe. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, I'll post links to my Twitter, my Instagram and my blog down below. And we can, you know, you, uh, chat to me there if you'd like. Um, yeah. Enjoy the few hours that will be left of your weekend at the time this goes out, if it actually does go out today. Bye!